my channel hit 300 subscribers. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make rocks in Blender. Oh, not these, uh, these rocks. <laughs> Alright, uh, so now I have an Icosphere with an HDR uh, environment lighting. So uh, I'm going to add in a new material for this. Uh, okay, so now let's start by giving this uh, Icosphere its uh, texture. So I'm going to start by giving it a, a noise texture. Where is it? Over here. Okay, uh, so I'm going to... Um, okay, I'm gonna bring up my uh, texture coordinate and mapping nodes and uh, change this to object coordinates and I think it looks pretty good how it looks right now. So I'm just gonna plug this into a bump node, uh, height of the bump node and plug that into the normal and uh, right now you should have something like this which looks like something uh, which looks like we have these uh, bumps obviously. Okay, uh, now let's start by giving in the colors for the rock. Obviously, if you wanna, you can just, you know, add in like a gray color and call it a rock color. But uh, in the real world, nothing is, you know, of a uniform color. So I'm gonna actually add in another noise texture and uh, plug in these same uh, coordinates over here into that. And, um, and uh, I'm gonna make this very small because I want to give this uh because in rocks you know the deviations are very minute so uh i don't know maybe something like 100 uh that's too much 80 looks okay that's good enough uh now i'm gonna add in a converter color ramp and uh now this is gonna be the color now uh you can take whatever color you want all right but uh for this tutorial i'm gonna do something that's uh you know these uh gray gravel uh, type rocks. So this one's gonna be like a uh, slight gray and I'm gonna add one more in the middle um, maybe make it a little darker and um, bring these close you know uh, make, uh, okay I think I might add a small tint to it uh, I think it looks nice I don't know yeah I think it looks nice uh, okay now you can uh, plug this into the base color and uh, now you can see that instantly it looks way better. But now we have these uh, reflection problems. The uh, thing is that rocks are not very reflective in the real world. So uh, we're gonna make it something like 0 0.8. Uh, although if you do wanna go for some rock, uh, which is like a geode or a mineral, you know, you want it to be shiny, you can uh, take it very low and uh, that should give you that effect. But for this tutorial, I'm gonna keep it at 0 0.8 because I'm gonna be making gravel. Of course, you can take whatever color you want. Uh, Alright, the next thing is uh, that I want to do is give it, uh, give this some, you know, bigger deviations. So I'm going to duplicate the, uh, this noise texture like that. Uh, same coordinates over here. And uh, for this one, actually, I'm going to have it at the default of 5. I'm going to add in a new color RAM for this because I don't want the uh, color for this one. Uh, and uh, I'm just going to increase the contrast with this so that, uh, you know, uh, those uh, blacks kind of pop out and let's add in a color mix RGB and uh, bring this in and change the blend mode to multiply. So when you add it to multiply, basically the darker colors alone get mixed. All right. Um, and uh, you can see that it looks cool. It, it kind of looks cool. I think I should reduce the blacks in this a little, maybe. Uh, yeah that looks cool and uh, of course you can uh, preview it now and uh, you can see that it instantly looks like rocks one last thing that we have to do is uh, to match this noise in the top with the bump so, so I'm gonna add in another bump node and um, I'm gonna take this multiply uh, node over here and plug it into the height and uh, now you can see that we have these uh, Okay, so this was the uh, previous bump, it was just bump. And uh, if you preview this one, you can see that uh, we have these uh, small details in it, but now it's too much. So bring the strength down to 0 0.1. Let's do less, 0 0.4. That's too much, 0 0.2. And I think that's good. And uh, yeah, that's gone into the normal. And, uh, and now you can see that uh, we have a really nice rock material. 
uh, if you think that uh, the rock is too dark you can uh, add in a uh, brightness contrast for it and uh, you know you can just uh, I mean if you increase the brightness obviously you're gonna wash out the details but uh, if you increase the contrast along with it you can uh, see that you know we're uh, brightening the rock and also uh, retaining um, retaining the blacks in it so this is before and uh, this is after the brightness contrast so now if you preview it you can see that uh, the rock is generally a lot more nicer to look at uh, yeah and uh, like I said if you want something uh, to uh, make like a geode or something you just have to bring down the roughness and uh, there you go you have it so there you go that was the simplest and easiest way to make uh, procedural rocks inside a uh, rock material inside blender and i hope you like this uh, tutorial uh, i've actually used this material for my recent artworks and uh, the best thing about it is that it's procedural and you have full control over every aspect so you, if you want to change the color you can if you want to change the bumps you can and uh, you can even apply this to material to which you have uh, added some displacement to or if you have like uh, if you sculpted and prepared ready-made rocks you can just add this material to it it's amazing i love it <laughs> so if you like this video please give this video a thumbs up and let me know your thoughts in the comment section below and if you like my uh, content if you want to see more good content from me please give my channel a subscribe and uh, that would really help me grow and uh, that's it for this video i will see you in the next one <laughs> bye